Hello everyone, my name is Erfan Dilfanian. I'm here to present the latest experiment conducted by the Network Autonomous Vehicles Laboratory. The title of the work is UAV Best Autonomous and Real-Time Wildfire Detection, Geopositioning and Separation, supervised by Professor Yumi Zhang and supported by CREOG and RW Aero Group. But before I jump into the stages of the project, I want to quickly introduce you to the components we have used in this experiment. So we use DJI M300 drone along with an onboarding computer enabling us to implement our autonomous algorithms in the ROS environment along with a 3D printer water tanker which is attached to a valve that gets command directly from the onboarding computer along with H20T camera that captures both infrared and RGB images. So this is the setup with which we go to our flight test. And here you can see the field in which we have did our test in Montreal this is the top view of the field. At the left side, you can see that we have set up the line of fire using the fire piece that we have. And at the other side, you can see the drone that is supposed to do the detection, geopositioning, and separation of fire. The first stage would be finding the direction of fire relative to the drone's home position. So the first step is, of course, the takeoff. After the takeoff, drone goes through a circular pattern and using the H20 camera mounted on the drone, we capture RGB images and we see whether we have bounding boxes in the frames captured or not using the real-time detection. So in this way, we know the direction of the fire because in the general case, we don't know whether the fire is occurring in the north, west, east or what. And in this way, we know toward which direction we should initiate the geopositioning algorithm. So the second stage would be geopositioning or geolocalization of the fire spots. So after we found out where is the direction of the fire occurring with respect to the drone's home position, we know toward which direction we should initiate the geopositioning algorithm. So at this stage, the drone goes through a zigzag pattern with minimal yaw motion and initiate the visual slam geopositioning algorithm to compute the GPS location of the fire spots that we have. The prerequisite for real-time geopositioning is a real-time and accurate detection of bounding boxes that has been achieved here. Here you can have a better view of how the geopositioning algorithm is taking place at the background and in real-time. The third and final stage would be fire fighting or fire suppression. After the drone has acquired the GPS position of the fire spots, it calculates the optimal line along which if it approaches and releases the retardant, it will extinguish the fire spots in the most efficient way. It also computes the mission starting point and tries to approach it. But due to the errors that we have in the GPS sensor of the drone and also in the geopositioning, we have some offset between the mission starting point and the place that the drone actually goes. So we minimize this kind of offset using the h 20 camera mounted on the drone. So this is a vision guided forest fighting. We have a controller so that it minimizes this lateral offset that we have. As you can see, the drone is laterally adjusting itself before approaching the fire line. After the drone has adjusted itself laterally, it is ready to approach the fire line and release the retardant at the computed time by sending a command to the valve so that it releases it autonomously. We have used the colored water so that it would be more visible. Let's watch that back again in the slow motion. Also, let's watch it from another view. We can also see the top view in this clip.
Oh, excellent. After the drone has released the retardant, it will go above the fire spots and see down below to see whether it has extinguished the fire spots efficiently or not before going back to the home position. Here you can see all the trajectories of all the three stages before the drone goes back to the home position. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have enjoyed the video.